All right, guys, so an interesting video popped up on the interwebs, right, on the internet that basically shows an activist teacher going off on a straight student um, because he asked why he couldn't have a unicorn theme, I guess, LGBTQ cupcake. And for whatever reason, um, this teacher, who is a sixth grade teacher, this is a sixth grade classroom in Springfield, Missouri, they're celebrating pride month okay they're celebrating people's sexuality in sixth grade right which again I, it just blows my mind that this is what's happening in school right children but this is what they're doing and he asked you know hey why can't i have that cupcake and uh she did not like that very much but just because i support another thing doesn't mean i don't support straight people too just because i'm mexican doesn't mean i don't also support black people or Irish people, or ignorant people. Never said it was like that. Okay. Just said you ignored. Would you like a special unicorn cupcake for being straight jerk? Yes. All right, come here, get a straight jerk cupcake. For being a pill. I'm just trying to be annoying. You are annoying, you were very successful, congratulations. Thanks. What a dip. All right. What? A dip. Oh. Like a dipstick, a butthead, a weasel. All right, guys. So, as you can see, there, um, <laughs> first of all, this teacher. The way she acted was very unprofessional for multiple reasons, right? The first reason is that, one, I understand that students can be annoying as hell, right? I understand that a lot of students are just trying to be funny, but it is your job as a teacher to be more mature than the student, right? You have to be the bigger person in that situation. He may have just been trolling her asking that question, or he may have been serious. And she obviously lost her cool because she basically called a student ignorant, okay? And it sounded like uh, she called him a um, a penis, you know what, right? She said uh, dip, dipstick. She tried to correct herself, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody knows what she actually said, okay? Which is, again, totally inappropriate to be calling sixth grade students as a teacher, okay? Again, I understand some of these students, again, are annoying, but at the same time, it's like, come on. You, you can't stoop down to their level. But regardless whether the student actually knows it or not, he brings up a good point, right? Why is it that you're segregating people in your classroom based off their sexuality? Especially in a sixth grade classroom. How is it that you have straight people sitting on a certain side of the classroom and then you have LGBTQ people sitting on another side of the classroom? Okay, like wh what is this? Right? What is this? Is this what our taxpayer dollars are paying for? Because obviously, uh, if she's turning to give the other cupcakes, right? I guess the LGBTQ themed cupcakes to another side of the classroom. Uh, it looks like she has it segregated. Okay? Now again, I could be wrong about that. But that's what it seems like. Right? In my opinion, this type of stuff doesn't belong in the classroom. I have no problem with people celebrating their sexuality lgbtq stuff pride whatever i have no issues with it i'm a libertarian on that when it comes to adults but i'm not a libertarian on it when it comes to children i am a conservative when it comes to children there's a very 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 nuanced difference because i don't believe that this type of stuff should be taught in school it shouldn't be these are sixth graders what did it what do they know about sexuality right these are sixth grade these are 10 11 12 13 year olds and this is what we're doing in school? It just blows my mind that this is what's happening. We are now dividing kids up by their sexuality in school, right? And throwing celebrations for certain groups of students based off, again, their sexuality in public school. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. But, you know, th th these are conversations that should be reserved for parents to have with their kids. It should not be reserved for teachers to be having with kids. Right? It should not be reserved for the government to be teaching kids about this stuff. Right? This is the job of the parent. Right? You have those conversations with your parent. Okay? And, <laughs> guys, I'm going to tell you. A lot of these kids are super woke, man. 
I was just having a conversation with a woman the other day, and uh, she was telling me about her 14-year-old daughter, right? She said her 14-year-old daughter is pansexual, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? say that again? Your 14-year-old daughter is pansexual, which I think that means that she doesn't, she's attracted to people based off their personalities and other characteristics and not necessarily their um, gender, right? Or sex or whatever, right? And I could be wrong about that, but if I'm wrong, I, it is what it is. I don't study this stuff, okay? But it, it just blew my mind that a 14-year-old would even say something like that, right? Especially a 14-year-old girl. And, you know, it, it does bring up the conversation of, you know, is this stuff being forced on kids or are kids coming out with this because it's the cool thing to do or that now they feel like they can be more open about it? And I think there's a real debate to be had there about that. And I, I think it's a, a little bit of everything. I think it is one of those things that is being forced on kids. I mean, we saw that that show on Nickelodeon, right, where I think they had like the drag queen or whatever on Nickelodeon. Again, this show is being targeted at kids it's, it's a kids network nickelodeon but at the same time I, I do think that there are kids that are learning about this at a younger age and i think that they're embracing it and that there's less ridicule for it in these schools specifically middle school because i remember when i was in middle school <laughs> boy 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 if you were a male and you had some feminine tendencies um you didn't have it great right you did not have it great in school OK, but, you know, here's the thing. It was wrong. It was wrong for boys, young boys to bully other young boys because those young boys may act more feminine. Right. But I think you're seeing a lot less of that in schools now because it's more openly accepted. But that doesn't mean that it should be taught in school. It just means that we should not be discriminating against anybody based off that. But we also shouldn't be promoting it either. Again, that's a nuanced position. It's a very nuanced position. But like I said, man. A lot of these kids are woke, okay? I was also talking to another friend uh, whose nephew is like 13, 14 years old. And this dude is talking about how we should have free college and free Medicare for all and, you know, embracing socialism and all this stuff. I'm like, where are you getting this from, right? Where are you getting these ideas? I didn't think like that when I was 13, 14 years old, okay? But regardless, man, you know, I, I do feel bad for... Um, you know, parents that don't have the option of school choice, right? Because I think situations like this, videos like this, make the school choice argument very, very, very strong, okay? But those who aren't fortunate enough to have that option, who have to send their kids to these schools and pay their taxpayer dollars to help fund this type of education, honestly, I would be furious, right? If I didn't agree with it, I will be furious about this. Because again, this is not what we're sending kids to school for. Kids need to be learning math, science, reading, I want them spending time on learning actual academic subjects, not on learning about their sexuality, especially not sixth graders. There's plenty of time for that in college. I didn't learn about that in school and I turned out pretty fine. I don't think I'm a bigot. OK, I don't think I'm a bigot. OK, I'm, I'm pretty accepting. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm pretty tolerant of a lot of things. OK, I'm pretty tolerant. Even though I might not agree with it, I don't agree with the lifestyle, I'm tolerant, okay? So most people turn out fine. I don't think this is necessary, and I think it causes more division in the classroom, and I think that this student actually brought up a great point. Why is it that you're giving students special treatment based off their sexuality in the classroom? This should not happen, because people will be upset if she went in there and she started teaching about christianity or islam or judaism or hinduism if she start teaching about religion people will be upset about that okay and the same way a lot of people you know to a certain extent agree that hey you know what we should probably leave religion out of school for the most part out of public institutions all right we should probably leave gender studies out of public institutions as well we really should especially again you can learn about that stuff in college if you want to study that stuff in college that's great that's what we have church for to learn about religion that's what you have college for, to learn about uh, gender studies and stuff like that. But in public schools, specifically schools that are designed, that are there to teach young kids, young children, this is not stuff that they should be learning about, okay? It's not. Not in public school. A lot of people are calling for this teacher's job. I don't think this teacher should lose her job per se. 
Um, because you know, I'm kind of <laughs> done with the whole cancel culture thing, right? I don't think people should keep canceling each other, right? If you really want to fight against cancel culture, people have to stand up and say, you know what? No, I don't want you to be canceled, right? Just because you say something, just because you're an activist teacher. Again, she may be great at teaching these subjects. Now, if her if she sucks at teaching math, math science, reading, whatever, whatever subject she's supposed to teach, yeah, she should be fired. If she she sucks at that. But the problem really comes with the school board and the school system allowing her to do this in the first place, allowing these types of celebrations in school. That's what the problem really comes at. So I think people really need to direct um, their issues at the school board, at the principal, at those in charge that allow this stuff because she's just doing it because she's allowed to do it. OK, if she wasn't allowed to do it, then, hey, you would not have to deal with it. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.